Do you feel like you don't have the connections, resources, or money to make the right investment to help you to get into the next level? And actually making investments so scary. I feel the same. People always say you need money to make investment. It is not true. Today, I'm gonna share with you my personal examples how I turned from a poor immigrant with $800 in my pocket when I moved to the US turned into a self-made millionaire. This is one investment shift changed my life completely. And today, I'd love to share this with all of you guys. And you don't need the financial advisor to teach you what I tell you today and there's no overnight success for sure. What I'm going to share with you might be very shocking and also the first time you heard of it, but I guarantee if you apply exactly what I tell you today, your life will be changed within five years. Stay until the end of this video where I share with you different types of investment vehicles you can get started right away. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a director of product and featured in Forbes. An immigrant with $800 in my pocket turned into a self-made millionaire. I have helped hundreds of aspiring product managers and seasoned PM to increase the income and do the job they love by joining fan companies and unicorn startups. If you're interested in product management course, please go to pmaccelerator.io. In this channel, we talk about product management, investment, and parenting. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell button so be notified every time we turn on a new video every Wednesday. The investment shift I shared with you today was only shared was in my inner circles of my students and they asked me to share it on YouTube because they believe it's going to change lots of people's lives together. So now let's get started. First of all, I do want to challenge the limiting belief saying that, hey, you have to have money to invest. It's definitely not true. Let me tell you my personal story, also very vulnerable to be frank with you guys. I moved to the US with only $800 in my pocket. I was born very poor and my parents never went to college. When I was young, my parents mainly focused on two things. How can they put food on the table and how can they reinvest into education? My parents never supported me since I moved to the US. However, I even sent money back to China. This is very embarrassing. Um, you know, I've been hiding this information for a while, but you know what? The fact is the fact, because I believe lots of people might be able to relate to this. The very first internship I had in the US, I was paid $5,000 per month. That was a lot of money to me. I was like, oh, I've never seen this much money in my life. And I worked there for three months, and I ended up sending two of my paychecks two months paycheck back to China to my parents because those $10,000 is my dad's two years salary. Yes, we're very, very poor. And guess what? When I was a PhD student, I was only getting paid at $1,400 per month for three and a half years. And this like three months internship equals to my four year PhD salary. So it's a lot of money to me at the time. I made a very strategic decision. How can I use this $5,000 I saved to myself and $10,000 sent back to China to my parents and use a part of this $5,000 to make some investment because that's the only way for me to get ahead given I came from a very poor background. There's no money, no connections, no friends, no resources out there. After I use this investment strategies, which I'm gonna share with you right now, it's actually start to change my life completely. A few years later, even if I was immigrant, but I became a director product within four years and also one of the youngest uh, female directors and right now I also became a self-made millionaire and run my own educational company. Now let me share with you the 35% investment rule. What is 35%? It sounds very simple but very important. First of all, look into your current tax bracket. Let's say currently you're getting paid $200,000 per year. Your current tax bracket is about 35% which means that you pay 35% of your total income to the government. That's your tax, which means that you should pay the same amount of money to yourself. Why did you pay the government 35% but do not pay yourself the 35%? Okay, so among all your total paycheck, 35% goes to government, 35% goes to yourself. And when you go to yourself, you should spend this into investment, which means different kind of asset and investing in yourself, different ways to invest. And then the other 30%, you put into living expense. You can use it to buy your fancy cars, your Gucci bag, or food, or rent, anything. Now let's plug in these numbers to digest it better. Let's say currently you're getting paid at $200,000 per year. And by the way, this is just an average salary and lots of students, they land job offers in fan companies, they're getting paid at $300,000 per year. So $200,000 per year is 
normal for product managers who are getting paid inside a PMSI return. So now, if you have $200,000 per year getting paid, your federal tax bracket is 32%. And your state tax could be 5% in Massachusetts or California, like 9%, even very high over there. So my point is, you add up your federal tax plus state tax equals to how much you're paying to the government, but roughly on average, let's say 35%, you can adjust it based on your current income. Okay, now the rest of 35%, which you need to pay to yourself after 35% pays to government. Okay, so these 35% pay to yourself to invest into different kind of asset that can grow this 35% into even more money. So which means $200,000, the 35% equals $70,000 you need to invest into asset. There are six different kinds of asset you can thinking about investing. Number one is real estate. Lots of people talking about having passive income through real estate. It also grow over time. This is really good option for you to grow. And second is stock or cryptocurrency. Totally leave it up to you. Well, you want to buy good Bitcoin, go ahead buying it. But stock in general, buying stock in the as an index fund is a good way for you to grow your wealth in the long run as well. The third is to invest in yourself because this is the only way for you to have a guaranteed return. Fourth is to invest in companies such as as angel investors and these companies can grow significantly such as Google of course also have higher risk because company may go down very likely. Five is to create some kind of Airbnb companies. I have a friend and she bought several real estate and then turn it into an Airbnb and every single month she's able to generate lots of cash flow through Airbnb as well. The sixth is to invest into talent and people. This is mainly important for entrepreneurs. If you have a company putting money in growing your people, your team is very important so that they can grow together with you within your company. I personally invested $7,000 this year to train my team to become a better leader so they can grow with me together. Please comment in the chat and let me know what different kind of asset you should invest and what are the questions you have regarding the type of asset. Now, among the six different kind of asset, the most important bracket you should invest is investing in yourself. This is a life changer for me. Now, let me also break it down to you. How much you should invest in yourself? Very simple game. Ask yourself how much you pay for your local taxes. For example, in Miami, we pay 7% of local sales tax. Let's say any iPhone or AirPod I purchase, I pay 7% of the tax. In Massachusetts, we pay 5% of the sales tax. Just ask yourself, what's the local sales tax? Why you like to pay 7% sales tax to buy an AirPod, but you do not spend 7% of your total income investing in yourself? No brainer. Okay, so let's say you make $200,000 per year, and let's say 5%, that equals $10,000 per year budget, you can invest in yourself to continue growing. I know all of you guys ask me the question, Nancy, $10,000 sounds like lots and lots of money off my paycheck. I have bills pay, I have rent, I need to take my girlfriend out for dinner. So now, let me help you to have a mindset shift and actually change my life completely. Do you think that you need to learn how to lead only after you become a director? No, because you need to actually learn how to lead and then generate opportunities. Once director opportunities is all open up for you, you are the first person who in line to get a director position. That's also one reason I invest in myself in learning leadership management before I become a director. And also the reason I became a director within four years. And I also have a personal failure I could share with you guys, specifically regarding investing in real estate. I was offered opportunity earlier. Actually, it was my boyfriend at the time and me was offered opportunities Saying that hey someone in the building of uh, our neighbor is trying to sell the property because their parents pass away so they just really want to sell the property very fast and at the time me and my boyfriend was offered this opportunity but we're only six people know this opportunities we were the one who's so ready to make an offer and take these opportunities but we stopped ourselves because we didn't have real estate training we asked ourselves saying that well this property looks old we need to operate some kitchen and we don't know how to do it and how exactly we can do the calculation it's really going to make sense i'm going to move in here what about parking around here so lots of uncertainties that led us not to purchase the real estate. But guess what? Other people in the building purchased this real estate for 
$500,000. And guess what? Within one month, they resell this piece of property for $600. Within one month, they made $100,000. We will offer the same opportunities. We're ready to make an offer. We actually need a partner to leave. Just because we don't know how to do the math, how to evaluate opportunities, and how to figure out how to flip properties and quickly sell it. We lost $100,000 within one month just because we didn't have the education. Guess what? Three months later, I took another real estate course and I understand you can just wholesale your real estate without even doing any update to the kitchen, to the properties, and many different ways to invest just because I didn't have the knowledge when opportunities were presented in front of me and I lost it. So therefore, I recommend all of you guys start investing in yourself right now. Whatever money you can save, a few thousand dollars, a few hundred dollars, you start investing in yourself and gradually level up yourself. And believe me, within five years, if you apply the 35% rule, you're able to change your life and become yourself a millionaire as well. People also ask me how much money I invest in myself. Well, actually last year I spent $32,000 in learning and from coaches to invest in myself because I deeply believe that improving the leaders of the company is going to raise the entire company together. And on top of that, I also give away thousands of dollars to nonprofit every single year. And this year we're going to teach kids from low-income families product management for free. So I believe that giving away to other people is also another way to invest because it helps your mental energy, your mindset to grow together with the community to make you happier. Right now, if you're asking, hey Nancy, what other ways can I invest in myself and generate side incomes or invest into different real estate, different kind of asset, you should watch this playlist where we talk about financial independence and retire early. If you like this kind of investment content and mindset sh shift, please make sure to comment in the chat and let me know if you want me to make more videos like this. Please like and share this video and let me know. I will continue to have the motivation to make similar videos like this. And this is Dr. Nancy Lee from PMXServer.io. See you next time. Bye.